man says he is shocked to still be alive after he was punched in the face by a huge bear on his doorstep. Andrew Munier was letting his dog out on Tuesday night when was almost instantly slapped around the face by the towering beast. He was so shocked that he fell backwards, but then quickly managed to scramble back indoors to safety. Munier spent four hours in surgery as medics patched his face back together with 44 stitches. He says he was letting his dog out when he spotted the bear just a few feet away from his home in Naples, Florida. He spent four hours in surgery as medics patched his face back together with 44 stitches. Image, Chris Murphy. Manier says he was letting his dog out when he spotted the bear just a few feet away. File pic. Image, Getty. The attack took place meters from Andrew Munier's home, image, Chris Murphy, man has tip a finger bitten off by giant wild boar while on woodland walk with his dog, he told news channel WZVN, everything went in slow motion. It was just as scary as you can imagine. It was standing in front of me and I tried to turn left real quick and get back in the house, and caught an uppercut from a brown, or a black, bear. The poor punch left him with a huge gash on the side of his face. Truthfully, I'm not sure how I got out alive, Munier told the station. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission is now trying to bait the bear by setting up traps with donuts around the neighborhood, image, Chris Murphy. Amazingly, ABC7 reports this is the first human injury caused by a bear in South Florida, image, Chris Murphy. Now the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission is now trying to bait the bear by setting up traps with donuts around the neighborhood. Andy went on, I don't care if this scars, or anything, I walked away with my life, and it could have been a whole lot worse. Amazingly, ABC7 reports this is the first human injury caused by a bear in South Florida. Andy said, I heard that, who else can say that? Even the nurse was telling me people make up stories when they leave hospital, but you have got a good one.